Here we are at the hunt person. Let's say hello to our frequently reappearing dead friend here. You're the one went picking a fight with the Daguza. Made it through one of the walls and tunneled our way out. What? Our way out with our hands. Number 982. Deep in the west annex of the Barheim Passage, show it no mercy. Now, can we actually get to the Barheim Passage? The West Annex is a uh, part that we haven't been to, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I don't know if we can get to this hunt. There should be an entrance over here somewhere. This should be the second uh, entrance to Barheim over here. Is it that? I never remember if you want me to be honest. Why is there a baby mimic right there? Why are there multiple baby mimics right there? Whatever. Let's see if we can get through here. No, because it requires a key. We don't have a key. We'll need the Barheim key. Let me quickly look this up. Uh, FF12. Barheim. We're gonna find the key because I don't remember exactly so. Oh, this is apparently a rather complicated process. Alright, so this is a rather complicated process, but I suppose this is a video if ever to actually do it, so... Actually, I could probably make the separate video about the key for this. This is a sort of complicated process. Let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and grab the key. Uh, it'll be a separate upload to this one, so just check that one if you don't know how to get the key. Uh, and for this video, I will meet you guys back at the door over there with said key in hand. Alright, I return. I have obtained the key. There's a separate video for that. So if you don't know how to get the key, you can reference that video, it involves a multi-step process, as I mentioned, but regardless. Welcome to Barheim Passage. Right here, in fact. So anyway, now that we're back in here, our hunt, that frog is confused. So am I, don't worry. Our hunt here can be found in the west annex of the Barheim Passage, now you might notice. That is in Timbuktu, over there. So how do we get there? I believe... Make our way this way. The uh, light gauge is gone, by the way. Beyond that part of the story, the light gauge does not exist. Does not do anything. But I believe if we head this way... This path should be open to us now. Whereas before it was not. Is it this way? which opens us up to the other part of Barheim Passage, which you might notice the enemies are slightly higher level. And we uh, don't have really any idea where we're going, so we do need to be careful. Try and get Pinello over here without setting off any traps. These bombs are passive, they just make weird noises. They don't do anything else, I'm pretty sure. There is loot down there. But I feel like this is going to... No, this is going to result in someone getting hit with a trap at some point. 
we're all going to get hit with a trap, unfortunately. Which unfortunately means Pinello has no MP. And Pinello does not use charge to regen her MP. That doesn't really matter too much. Someone, Pinello hitting this thing is healing it. Also, this is a rare enemy, apparently. I guess. What are you doing? Calm down, my friend. That was a rare spawn. Interesting. That's a mimic. In fact, most of these are probably mimics. Well, no, just two of them. Pick up our treasure and leave because the other one is a mimic. You could tell by the coloring on the chest. Excuse me. Why have you become aggressive? Oh, now we all have disease, which is a thing I wish we did not have, but hey. We should have some things to remove disease. Serum is up here in it. There it is. Excuse me. I've mentioned uh, disease before, I believe. Disease is probably the worst status ailment in terms of uh, survivability. Um, because disease makes your current HP your max HP. So any... We're just going to kill this dude. So he doesn't get aggressive later. Um... Any damage you take while you have disease means your max HP drops. So it's pretty dangerous um, in a general use term, like general survivability, because it means you simply can't heal any damage that you take. So you can be real careful about that. Anyway, what is this? This is the Zvaya span. All right. There's a mimic over here. You could tell. Very colorful mimic. Ruby colored. I like rubies. Anyway, make our way down here. Fight these bombs because their brethren fought me, so I hate their existence. It's not like we have difficulty killing them anyway. 253 gil. Woo! I do need to be very careful because there is a... Uh, an optional boss, an optional esper, I think, anyway, in this area, so. Plus, we can't pull too many enemies. I mean, level 38 dead bones, 6,700 health. We have to have some sort of, you know, caution in terms of pulling everything in the dungeon. Especially since uh, Pinello here has no MP. We should probably do something about that. Let's throw a few ethers at her. Not much MP, but it'll keep us going for a little bit here. Should probably be careful about her casting haste and stuff like that. That's a mimic, you can tell. This is probably the map. In fact, it is the map because it's an urn. That's all urns ever are. Oh, wait, no. The candle. Oh, it is the map. Never mind. Reveals hidden areas on your map of Barheim Passage. So, everything here. So there's the West Annex, and there's the uh, boss area, which goes somewhere. I don't remember where, but it just goes back outside of Barheim. Uh, so that's where the optional Esper is. We will do that at a later point. We're just here to get to the West Annex and do that boss, or that uh, hunt fight. Special Op Sector 5. Should probably investigate that too while we're here. I don't know how these hunt videos are going to be split up, so... Pretty much just going to have to wing it. We'll try and pick up all the treasure as well, while we're here. That's a mimic! There's a lot of mimics in this part of the passage. It's rather irritating. Something down here. An ether. Could have packed the one we used, I suppose. Gil. There's got to be a spell or equipment or something down here, right? Just honestly, it's a pretty big area. There's highly likely to be some sort of useful treasure that we can acquire down here on our journey. Please? I would like it. I'd appreciate it immensely if there was. I mean, we're getting XP on the way down, so I guess that's that. Chronos tier, eh. Not the treasure I was hoping for. 
Like, hello, bomb. Why do those bombs get aggressive with magic? Well, nothing's hitting her, and she cast. Oh, yep, yeah, never mind. So they're aggressive with magic. Fair enough. Let's beat the crap out of some bombs. This is tradition. So there's treasure. Must be right, like. Not right there. Oh, wait. Precarious cart. What? That just. That lets me get down. Okay. I got a sweet, you found a secret sign, too. Or a secret signal. Sound. Whatever. Alright, well, what's down here? 198 gil. Woo! We're rich. Sort of. Who's there? Oh, well, this is just how we progress. That's required to get anywhere, and it gave me the you found a secret sound effect. Game. Don't you be that rude to me. Anyway. Anything here? There is. A scathe moat. Eh, could be useful. That's a mimic over there. That is Gil. That's a bit disappointing. Ah, there we go. Oh, god dang it. Well, whatever. <laughs> we'll deal with it, I guess. Uh, we did find a new weapon. Kaga Nune. Kaga, whatever, you know what I mean. Which I think is a samurai weapon. It is indeed. On hit slow. That's actually a ninja sword. Never mind. On hit slow. I think this is the, like, the third most powerful samurai or ninja sword. Not entirely sure, but it is literally inherently better than what he was using because... He was already using on hit slow. Just now it has more damage. Which is pretty good. Hopefully there's nothing over here that shoots fire, because we don't really have the ability to tank that very well right now. What's over here real quick? Shear. What is shear? Sounds like an ability. Lower one's fo one foe's magic resist. That's actually pretty good. Potentially useful. Uh, hello. I forgot there's specters in this area. Unfortunately, a rather large number of enemies in this area, actually. Aha, blizzard. I'm not weak to blizzard. I'm weak to fire. We don't want to go too far out here. Because we're just going to continue, continuously spawn crap. Come here. Fight me, you coward. He fought me. And he died for it. Alright, what's over here? We've wandered too far. Gil! So somewhere in this west annex, there should be a very large red bat thing. I don't know where that uh, specter went. Pretty sure we didn't kill him. By the way, there's a lot of traps right there. Hello, my specter-based friend. Maybe we did kill him, I don't know. Oh, Pinello has no MP again. Uh, this is going to be a continuous problem. She doesn't have MP, so let's just do this for now. Fran can keep us up. And help us with damage. Uh, that thing we just picked up, the bottle of whatever, is uh, an item that gives bravery. So they do have freaking fire spells. Fran is healing us, so we can't have her do it, so we'll get rid of the oil. We stop theoretically dying from fire. I hate removing oil, it's cumbersome. I mean, it's good to remove, don't get me wrong, but I still hate it. I would like to see what's in this path here, without dying, preferably. Tis a spectre. Hello, fiend. All right, that looks like it's too small to fit through. So go that way. And we get a fumarole for our effort. What is that? It's not abilities. Uh, weapon? It is. It is a hand bomb. 
Now, I have not been using hand bombs. I will show off hand bombs at some point. Ow. Um, but hand bombs behave pretty similarly to uh, hammers and axes in that they have a very wide range of damage. Oh, hello. Well, I guess to free Fang, but you know, could have done better. It's a uh, it's a huge range of damage, but it does have the potential to inflict a huge amount in a single blow. I don't like using those ty types of weapons because they are horrifically inconsistent, and I much prefer something that's a little lower damage but consistent, because the averages tend to work out in favor of consistent weapons. Anyway, continue our journey searching for our hunt still, if you recall. It's here somewhere. It has to be here somewhere. I mean, we should be able to see it from pretty far away unless it has special requirements like uh, killing all the other enemies here in the area or something. Not sure. Getting quite a lot of XP out of this will speed the game up because we're just killing trash at this point. Slowly making our way into this. Oh, there it is. There's Bloodwing. So this is just a regular bat enemy. Uh, I don't think anything special about it except for the fact that it hits harder because it's a hunt and that's how this works. Uh, it does register as a flying enemy, unlike normal bats. Uh, normal bats do not register as flying. So I would recommend having ranged people in your party or a uh, monk or Ulan with a spear or a pole arm of some description to deal with it. But yep, there you go. Really, the hardest part is just getting to the hunt and then getting back out of here. So um, I'm not actually going to record me running back out of this place because it's going to take quite a long time and it'll take, take quite a long time to get here. So I'm going to make my way back out uh, around town. I'm going to make my way around town. A song reference, I think. I don't know. And I will see you guys at the entrance, or I suppose exit in this case, for Barheim Passage. And we're back out in the Ester Sand. We can see daylight once again. We can kill these tiny bugs. Literally called tiny bugs. Anyway. Let's go ahead and make our way back this way. Took quite a while to finish this one hunt because I had to get the key. I didn't really account for that in my scheduling, but that's okay. May not be able to do clan hunts today. I'm not entirely sure, but regardless, his friend has turned into a floating box. Why is your friend a floating box? Get some stun bombs and some gill. Not really much of value there, but... My new life begins today. That box is clipping into his arm. It could cause immense bleeding. Either way, that's that hunt down. Let's make our way to the next one. Here we are over in Albina to talk to Morgan about his hunt. Mighty young to be hunting marks, aren't you, boy? The Bradia was once my home. I cannot bear to see it profaned so. It roams somewhere beyond tall grasses and a bank of thick fog. Now, I know where this is. I distinctly know where this is because it's actually a pretty good area for leveling. However, I do not know if we're going to be capable of doing this right now, simply because of level requirements. But either way, we have to make our way over to the uh, Nabridius Deadlands, and I guess we'll just kind of see what we can do, do what we can. Um, I'm going to utilize the teleportation to teleport to the nearest one, which is Silica Wood. I think? Yeah. Because we don't have the teleport crystal in uh, 
I think it's in Nabudis. Maybe in Nabrius and not Nabudis. I can't remember exactly where it is, but either way. This is the closest one we've got, so we'll go ahead and make our way over this way. Now, we don't want to go to Nabudis. We want to go to the Deadlands, which is to the north here. Nabudis holds nothing of value to us except for immense pain. This guy's only 36, so he's easy enough to deal with. There should be traps around here, right? Yeah, there they are. I knew we were probably going to step on one of those, which has just straight up killed Fran, unfortunately. Anyway. So this is the Deadlands. Let's see what level the enemies are here. The enemies here are invisible a lot of the time, by the way. So, here's one. He is 44. That is slightly above us. So we will have to be careful here. As you can see, the amount of damage that Fran just took there. In fact, it's probably in our best interest to actually put Bosch back in the party instead of Balthier, even though Balthier needs the XP. Because Balthier, or uh, Bosch here has Blizzara, so he'll allow us to deal some additional damage to our enemies. It's not a particularly great start to our journey through here, but uh, let's see what we can do, I suppose. Make sure we touch this. I didn't actually want to save. No. There we go. Don't this guy. You shouldn't sneak up on people like that, you know. Behold the ruin. So, uh, he mentions uh, defeating the foes sealed away in Nabudis. There are three bosses in there. I think three. This guy's 45. And he has, ha he has haste and protect. Wow, okay. Let's see what we can do here. Speed it up. It's probably going to be tricky making our way through here. In fact, uh... And Bosch is done targeting, we'll bring both here back in. Because we don't have uh, AoE magic that would be usable for these anyway, and both here could use the XP, but... Let's see. Now, to get where we want to be, where do we go? By the way, welcome to the Nebrius Deadlands. Just making sure they're all about the same level. They should be. Our greatest danger is going to be pulling more than one enemy at a time. If we pull more than one enemy, we're pretty much screwed, because I don't think there's a way we can tank that. These dudes again. That should be okay. Slowly but surely. Make our way through here. Uh, there's a third guy over there. I don't want to pull all of them. We pulled all of them, unfortunately. On Fran, you can keep us alive. Worst case, we can bring Pinello back into the party. She has her MP back. Uh, because she'll put haste on people, so. Among other things. I could set her up to cast slow and stuff too, but I don't think I want to. I gotta go. I think we want to end up in this direction. By the way, there are also turtles in this place. There you go. Emerald Ditton. Emerald Ditton? I don't know, 21,000 HP almost. Turtles are pretty tanky. I believe we want to end up in a thisward direction. I don't really want to fight the turtle, so we're going to ignore it. Yeah, here we go. Now, this is the place I usually uh, got some levels on around here. Because there's a lot of these uh, respawning skeletons, and I mean a lot of these respawning skeletons. So you can get a pretty good chain going, and as long as you can survive out here, you can uh, you can keep fighting for quite a while. There's also uh, banshees here, unfortunately, but mostly dead bones. My God, that damage! Oh, they have silenced my healer. That's rather unfortunate. 
Try to get him killed before we go too far here. There we go. All right. Where are my echo herbs? There they are. I still haven't sorted my inventory. I apologize. Okay. Continue our route. Uh, we should probably actually go the other way just to see if there's any treasure over there. Try not to spawn anything, so I'm dragging them backwards. Is there anything over here of value? There is. Please don't step on that. For you, Fubar. Oh, well. Guess you two have disease now. I would prefer you two not to have disease. Oh, that, now he's confused. Fran's just gonna die in a second here. Uh, where is my... We don't have very many serums, so we do have to be pretty careful here. Good heal, Ash. Credit to team. Alright. Pick up our treasure, which is an elixir. Pretty good treasure. Won't be using very many of them, but it's still a pretty good treasure. We gotta be real careful making our way to this hunt. I think those are the only two of that enemy type that spawns here. Oh, no, there's another one over there. I was mistaken. My apologies. 4,400 gil, that's pretty good. And this is the way to future. There's loot over here. Now, technically, we could go exploring Nabudis, uh, and, you know, we could, in fact, go to the hidden shop that's in Nabudis as well. And purchase some late game spells and such, but uh, I don't really want to, so we're not going to. At least not yet. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll probably explore Nabudis, uh, mostly anyway, before we finish the story, but we will not complete Nabudis for a very, very long time. Those bosses are nothing to scoff at, so. What are you? Oh, that's why you're over here, and also why you have 8,000 health. This is a rare spawn. I should uh, try and steal from it. Get Vaughn in the party and have him steal, just to see what it has. Oops. Couldn't steal. Just curious. Couldn't steal, and freaking Ash got absolutely murdered because it's in crit mode now. No, oh, it's dead. Well, that's okay. We'll just leave Vaughn in the party. Why not? Well, there's probably several reasons why not, but for now, we'll just leave Vaughn in the party. So this is the area, there's the hunt mark up there, that the hunt spawns in. There is a lot of enemies in this area though, so we need to be very careful when we get to the top, because we don't want to fight the hunt plus a bunch of these skeletons, because there's a lot of these skeletons here. As you can probably well tell, fighting a lot of them at once, good way to die. And oh, we're blind now. Hmm. might be an issue. Vaughn's still trying to steal constantly. Hold on, Vaughn. Stop trying to steal stuff. We need you to kill things. I can't swap him out because he's being targeted, so... Uh, Ash really needs to cast that blindness, so we'll see what we can do here in terms of living. Alright, we need another high potion on Fran. Never mind, she's dead. Right, one of the skeletons is down. Making progress. Vaughn is a terrible party member here for actually fighting skeletons because he's a ninja. But we will have to see. There we go. Get rid of him. Bring in... Uh, get rid of Fran. Bring in Pinello. Bring in... All fear. Uh, 
I will. They also do that, where they'll just respawn next to you sometimes. Pretty good. Anyway. Let's continue attempting our journey up here. Trying not to spawn too many at once, because that is how you die at this level. If we were level 50, we could blaze through these really easily, but... We're not, so imminent death waits around every corner. We got Pinella with us now, though, so we got our decoy working. We got our massive healing output working. Got haste up and running, mostly. I did tell you this is a pretty good place to level because there's so many of them. Oh, what have I done? I can't see. Slow the game down. I think we're okay? Yeah, we're okay. Barely. But we are okay. Ash is trying to keep herself alive here. Alright. Easiest fight of my life. Now we are going to have to spawn a few... There he is, by the way. Uh, a few of these skeletons with the hunt, which is going to suck. May end up doing quickenings. We're probably going to have to unlock some level 2 quickenings soon. Let's spawn as many as we can without going over there. I don't want to aggro him and start the horrific encounter that that would be. Wow, rude. I'm dying. What does Pinello does Pinello have anything above healing? No. Okay. She must have just been in the process of casting. That's okay. I mean, we are actually getting the crap beat out of us right now. In fact, like pretty severely getting the crap beat out of us right now. Blood darkened bones are worth quite a lot, by the way. They're spawning behind us. That's what's going on here. Oh well, that's a problem. That's a wee bit of a problem. All right, someone kill that one, please. It's almost dead. And now we're all blind again. As is tradition. Oh, Pinello died. I wasn't even paying attention there. Whoops, a daisy. So Ash is probably dead. Yeah. And another skeleton has spawned. This is why I hate this idea of doing this right now. Ash is going to die because she can't tank this. Yeah, there she goes. Sorry, Pinello is going to die because she can't tank it. Ah. We need something here. Some sort of help. We're spawning too many enemies at the same time. Fran, help. I'm here. Everyone here. Many things are going wrong, help. Too many skeletons. I think we're screwed. Yeah, I think we're kinda screwed here. I believe we have spawned too many skeletons. We must evacuate. The problem is those skeletons are now spawned forever. Hmm. Well, I'm going to see what I can do here in terms of actually getting to this hunt, and I will update you guys when we manage to get in a situation we can do something. Alrighty. After an immense amount of time and effort and uh, death, lots of death, uh, this is our levels now, we have managed to clear what appears to be at least most of the skeletons out of the area. I haven't obviously wandered over there, so I don't know if there's any over there, but... Uh, I had to utilize two healers and Ash as a dedicated tank and still had a lot of dying, so it's a thing. But anyway, we can now target Roblon and try and... F oh, back up. I'm just gonna hang out over here. He's casting something, so he's got somebody targeted. Oh. Why are you such a higher level than me? Oh, that's right, because we lost our Libra, that's why it's showing that. Never mind, never mind. So, he's already pre-casted something to target us with, so apparently we're not done killing bones. So I guess this is what we're gonna do. This is what I've been doing, by the way. 
You can see the amount of healing that's required to live, and it's really slow killing these enemies because we have to spend so much time healing and buffing and stuff like that to keep ourselves alive. But uh, anyway, Ash leveled up again. Any more skeletons? Oh, there's one. It's targeting her because she's closer. Come here. Fight over here, not near the giant automaton structure over there in the background. We don't talk about him. No, this guy's back. No, oh, that one's back. There's like 50,000 trillion enemies in this zone, and it's rather annoying. Come here. Fight me in the shade. Sorry, fine, don't fight me over there. Oh, thank you. Alright, he's dead. We have aggroed Reblon. There's a skeleton and there's two skeletons in the fray. What do we do? We missed. Do we missed? Sure. Let's missed. We're gonna target Reblon and try and AoE the skeletons down before anyone dies, hopefully. It's stopped. always good when I'm gonna freaking quickening the hunt and hope to kill everything around it rather than hoping to kill the hunt, but whatever. Anyway, time to do this, I guess. This hunt would be made dramatically easier if I was but five levels higher, however, I am not. So this is my life. Welcome to Doing Hunts the Hard Way with me, Sleepy Joe 2. The um, enemies, the dead bones have... I must be if... Oh, come on. All right, well, that's fine. The dead bones have uh, this is like 7,000 health or 9,000 health or something around there. I'm not entirely sure. So I was going to say, hopefully we can get a pretty good chain ending uh, to kill them. Unfortunately, we got torrent. So the answer to that is no. No, we cannot. Hopefully it at least does a, it did a decent chunk to them. Hopefully we can whittle them down quickly. I don't want to spawn anymore, so be careful with where we run here. One's almost dead. There we go. Oh, one spawned behind us. This is an awful location to hunt, but hey. We're getting pretty good XP out of it, at least for these this group. The other group we'll use for the story segment to get them caught up a little bit. Okay. Just us and Reblon here. One on three duel. It's not really a duel, is it? He has quite a lot of health, by the way. He himself is not terribly intimidating. Uh, it's simply the area that he spawns in having 9,000 of those skeletons. That can put you at pretty extreme risk, so everyone needs to come here. He also drains your MP, by the way. Probably notice. Vanello, you need to come here. There we go. I'm doing that to try and keep the party grouped up roughly on this side because I don't know um, if any skeletons are going to spawn, such as this one and that one. So I'm trying to keep our party's location limited to a small area. Vanello has no MP. This is unfortunate, so we're gonna burn another ether on her to get her back up. Because Fran is also out of MP, so we desperately need someone healing. Excuse me. Just hit him once, please. Thank you. RNG has praised me. Vanello has no MP again. This is unfortunate. He's uh, he's targeting Pinello, so it's screwing up her MP keeping her from healing us, which is very irritating. The reason he's doing that is because uh, Decoy has worn off on Ash. There we go. Decoy's back on Ash. Let's try and get this skeleton killed. We're spending too much time healing. This is pretty much par for the course of this area, so... Welcome to my life, I suppose. Just come here. There we go. Fran has no MP now. That's about par for the course, though, so. Please kill the skeleton. Kill the skeleton. 
Skeleton has been killed. Pinello needs more MP. Oh no, stop spawning skeletons. Please. Reblon's over there just having a field day with fear and magic spells. There we go. By the way, uh, this type of enemy, these automatons, uh, they do have a head, by the way. I can look at you. Never really see it. They are not immobile enemies. However, they are programmed not to move. Now, from, you know, you might look at that and say, that's basically the same thing. No, that's not technically true. As you can see, the enemy is capable of moving and doing melee attacks, but generally they will not move. They will sit there and cast and do their thing for all eternity. He seems to have possibly run out of MP. Oh, slow is unfortunate. Oh, no. He's got MP. He's moving. He's over here now for some reason. Generally, this type of enemy will not move. He appears to have gotten a defense up. He also seems to have gotten haste. Please stop, sir. Stop. Please. Eating the crap out of me. Look at him go. He's just having a grand old time. We're gonna run out of MP eventually. He's just beat the crap out of Ash. Stop. Please, sir. Dear God. My God, man. Pinello's hitting him for a measly five damage in the back there. We need Pinello to have more MP, otherwise we're not gonna be able to tank this forever. Because if Fran misses a charge, I'm pretty sure Ash is dead. Well, cast haste on yourself. Please heal somebody. There she goes. Alright, back to waiting for this guy to die. Oh, Jesus. We've done it. We have managed to kill Roblon while honestly horrifically underleveled for the area. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to fight the skeleton, apparently. Just decided to join the frame. Please come here. I don't want to fight too many of you. In fact, I'd prefer to fight none, but... We're going to walk up here. We're going to interact with this. The tabernacle of the shrine is held fast. And the reason I interacted with that is because it is relevant for something later. Now we're going to run the hawk away. And hopefully not die. Step one of run the fuck away is uh, fully in action. Now we're going to implement step two of run the fuck away. To get out of here, we go to the left side here. Remember, there's a trap there. We just don't have Libra anymore. Now we're going to continue implementing our run the fuck away strategy that requires we head this way. Ignore literally everything in existence that's going to try to murder us. We don't want anything to do with any of these enemies. I have already spent too much of my time in that area. Ow. Dear God, that hurt quite a lot. It was that uh, tri-attack or whatever it is that they have. Does quite a bit of damage. All right. Step three of our run. This is the wrong way. Run the fuck away strategy. We're almost back out of the Nebrius Deadlands. It's just this little area here. Well, the area past it, anyway, not this area itself. But we're almost back out. I'm going, now that I've actually made it out alive, I'm going to cut here and I will meet you guys back at the Quest Giver, which I believe is in... Um, I've forgotten because it's been so long. Where, where is it, actually? Hold on. Let's... That was net west war. That's where it is. Okay. Anyway, I'll meet you guys back there. Alrighty, we have safely made it back to Nalbana in one piece, more or less. Talk to our friend Morgan here. You've stopped the Roblon. It was made by your son. Hey there, Jovi.
And then he does his traditional snort and then runs off. We get our giant's helm, some gill. The giant's helm is actually pretty good equipment. I think it should be better than what we currently have. Indeed it is. Give it to her. She's our tank and she put up with a lot of crap in that area. So that is all of the hunts that I will be doing right now. Any future hunts will be left for after some more of the story. Uh, except for clan hunts. But either way, that's it for this video. I think it'll end up being two videos. I don't have any idea, frankly, how long I've been recording, so who knows. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully this little video is of interest or helped people. Who knows? And I will see you guys next time.